having won both the Bill Barber Award for Air Show Showmanship and the Art Show Memorial Showmanship Award. From the right, with the smoke on, please welcome in the Stocks Chairman Biplane from Minneapolis, Minnesota, Mr. John Moore. Waco Mystery Ship. I told you that it had an included fuel and aisle system with a snap roll there. John Moore is doing something with this airplane that nobody else in the world can do. You're looking at 3,000 pounds of primary trainer. The Navy used it. They called it the Yellow Peril. Good reason why. It was the first airplane that cadets would see and watch him as he comes back through here and pulls up gaining altitude for his routine. He's going to keep it up close and personal. This is 300, 3,000 pounds of airplane powered by a mere 220 horsepower. There are Ford Mustangs out there that you can drive that have more power than this. And John Moore is flying this airplane just as it was flown over 60 years ago by cadets in the Navy. Up he goes, ladies and gentlemen, for a big old roundhouse loop, only five, 400 feet off the ground. Watch him pull down as Sam New John Moore comes by, keeping his eye on John Moore, doing this one half cubit in and reversing it the other way. Five eighths to the loop and a half a roll. He's driving a, a figure eight lying on his side. We don't want that to happen. Now, he's going to do a hammerhead reposition. There's a quarter roll. He'll run it out of airspeed. No, he's going to do the inside hump to bump reposition. Watch for a quarter roll to the right. As he sets up now, let's see if he's going to do a four point roll. No, it's up. There's four points. You see the ailerons on the lower wings only. That's the stock steerman. Many steermen have been modified with ailerons on the top and bottom with a big 450 horsepower motor, but not John Moore. Just over 100 miles an hour is how fast he's flying. Just enough to get enough energy to set up for what we call an eight-point hesitation roll. This time he'll stop at every 45 degrees. There's 100 miles an hour. The nose comes up, there's 45, there's two, three, Four into the inverted, not too long, John. Six, oh, seven, and eight. Did you hear the engine start to quit? Upside down too long, this engine isn't going to do it. A primary trainer. After this, pilot cadets would work into the basic trainers, then go from there into the advanced trainers. But this is the reposition now as John Moore sets up for the super slow roll. Now, I want you to listen carefully as he goes over the top because he might just open this engine out. Spider, spider, spider. There's the flaming restart. How about that? Let's give it up for John Moore. Now you can see why his peers have given him two of those most, most prestigious awards in awards in aviation: the Bill Barber Award and the Art Show Memorial Trophy for Showmanship. He's been flying in the Midwest since he was a child. His grandfather flew Jenny trainers after the First World War. He barnstormed, and his grandfather even knew Lindbergh. He taught John's dad to fly, and let's watch as John gets the smoke back on now. We saw a Cuban 8 earlier. This time he's going to reverse it. Up he goes. Rolls the airplane over on its back with two points of a four-point hesitation roll. He'll pull hard on the stick as he runs out of airspeed, diving toward the ground, and that's one half of a reverse Cuban 8. With four roll and then the split S. Over he goes, two points of a four point roll, absolutely reversing it. A maneuver that was created quite by accident by the late Len Povey at the 1936 Miami Air Races. Now, we've seen him do a roundhouse move. 
He's going to know a square loop. There's one side. Across the top is two. No inverted fuel. All assist. He's got to keep that engine running. He'll now pull hard on the stick for side three. He's only 400 feet above the ground. Diving. 200. 100. Pull it out right down there at 50 feet above the ground. Let's hear it for John Moore. He'll be upside down over the top, and he'll reverse setting up now for this quarter roll vertical to the hammerhead and a quarter roll down. From the inside humped him up. He'll bring it back around for his next set of maneuvers. This guy has spent over 30 hours flying time. Watch him go straight up. Watch for the quarter roll. He'll do the hammerhead stall turn, running it out of rear speed. Straight back down. And another quarter roll to the right-hand side. Now he's going to get turned around. We've seen a round loop, right? The roundhouse loop. We've seen a square loop. Remember, 3,000 pounds, 220 horsepower. He's setting up now as he brings it back down, diving toward the ground to get over 100 miles an hour. Watch for an eight-sided loop. Stop sign in the sky. He's got his airspeed. He's only five feet off the deck. Here's one. Side two, 45 degree pull, side three, over the top of side four. Pull another 45 degree pull for side five, side six, side seven, and right down there, only 10 feet off the ground, the eighth side of the roof. How about that? Do you like John Moore? I can't hear you. Well, John's got to climb for altitude so he can gain more speed and energy for his next set of even more thrilling maneuvers. He's tightening the belts, taking a moment to catch his breath, and now you're going to see why this man has won so many awards. And whenever he flies, all the other pilots watch this guy. He is a phenomenal flyer. He's got a set up for a maneuver known by most of it as the Long Shabbat. It is a check word that means loosely walking with an inebriated gait. Plum brandy, the Czech, Czechoslovakia's national drink. You get too much of that, tastes good, well, you start having a little difficulty. Well, John is going to set up to do what is called a Lynn Shabbat, named after his beautiful wife, Lynn, who is here with him this weekend. He's going to climb up and tumble the airplane. There's the snow. Oh, boy, there you go. And goes into that spin on the way down. That is the Lynchabot. Now, he goes once again. Plenty of altitude. He's a, it's a whopping 700 feet off the ground. He backs it up. The tail slide. Power comes off and the power comes back on now. As he recovers, rolls the airplane once and a snap roll and a half. And there he goes out to the right hand side. All of us expect him to go out to the left. And there he goes. Get reversed. And there he'll extend out to the right hand side. Now, once the top get on the next pass, and I'm not sure whether he's going to do the falling lead for the inverted pass. I'm guessing with the altitude he has now, he's going to demonstrate the stall characteristics of this airplane. He's going to take it up to altitude and let the power come back to idle and let the airplane work on the edge of the stall. As he recovers from the stall, he'll let it stall again. It's called a falling leaf. Watch him now. He's at 400 feet above the ground. Stalling, recovering, stalling, recovering, falling down now at some 500 feet per minute. Down he comes. Down he comes. Continuing to come down. Now watch his recovery. He's got a recovery just about, recovers just about five feet off the ground and the power comes on. Whoa, he put his wheel right down in the grass. How about that? Let's hear it for John Moore. Let's hear it for John Moore. What a tremendous deal. Now he'll set up for his inverted pass. Remember, no inverted fuel and oil systems. That means he goes upside down and the engine will starve itself and will look for another one of those flaming restarts. Nobody in the world flies a steer the way John Moore does, upside down. Now watch. Now wave at him, everybody. He's waving at you. Listen to the engine. Flaming restart. There you go, and brings it around. 
Now, he has demonstrated some of the things that no other pilot will actually demonstrate. This is called the Harry Pass. He's got to cross control the airplane. Lots of left air on, lots of right water. Little drag of the wing and the tail it goes two feet off the ground. Just two feet off the ground. Look at that. Down there, tail wheel almost dragging in the dirt. Nobody does it like John Moore, everybody. How about that stuff? Now, he's going to bring it into land. His show is just about over. But when he lands, he's going to land into the wind. This was known by the Navy as the Yellow Peril. It is not an easy airplane to land in any kind of a crosswind, and he does have a left ordering crosswind. In other words, the wind is coming just from the left as he tries to land. And the landing gear on the steerman is pretty narrow, and it's very, very easy to get out of control on this airplane. So I want you to notice the kind of control John Moore has as he approaches to land. Keep your eye on the airplane as he lines up on runway 26. Comes down here, he says, oh, I think I better get a little better look at it here. Roll her upside down. Engine's going to quit. He'll roll it upside, right side up. And just before he touches down, watch this. Another snap roll just before landing with a smoke on. And now cross controls it. Flying that fuselage and right down to a beautiful landing. Watch how quickly he can get it down and stop. Going sideways. And he's going to do something a little special for you. He'll land on one wheel at a time. And then he says, okay, I think I've got it, got it about slow enough here. I think I'll taxi off and say hi to all the folks. And John Moore, ladies and gentlemen, over 30,000 hours of flight time, the Bill Barber and Art Scholl Memorial Awards, over two years of his life spent in the air, if you were to add all those 30,000 hours together. Fully restored airplane built in 1943. What an incredible performer, and uh, what an incredible show we have going for here is today, going for us here today at Air Power over Hampton Roads. Give him a wave as he comes by. I see tens of thousands of people watching this guy. There's nobody does it like John Moore. Nobody does it better. Coming up, we've got Herb and Ditto. Matt Youngkin in the Twin Beach will be here. We'll have the United States Navy's F-18 Hornet and the demonstration of the Legacy Flight. Bill Left in the T-6. John Moore coming right by us here at Joe Center. What a nice show. Incredible stuff. Thumbs up to John Moore. Jack Jerry Jive Kirby will fly the vintage T-33 Thunderbird.